Hello everybody, welcome back to the MSU Dynasty, Montana State Dynasty here in NCAA Football 06. We're going to start off looking at the recruiting. This wide receiver moved up on his list to number 4 there. That's nice to see. Seth Cobb, the only player from Montana, we're up to number 1 on his list. But then we got some guys like this tight end there. We gave him 15 points and moved down on his list. So we're just going to end up taking away all the points from him. We're going to add more to this wide receiver since we already moved up on his list here. Uh, we're going to add some points to this center. We are pretty low on his list. Uh, but, you know, having a good offensive line is, all, is always good. You also give five to that right guard there. Today, we're going to be playing number 19, Texas Tech. But first... We have some more suspensions. Derek Marks, he's been, uh, he doesn't like film and whatnot and, and, and all that. And he's been like missing sessions and whatnot. Come on, man. You're a team captain. You can't be missing film and whatnot. So he's going to be missing the first two quarters, the first half of today's game. So here we are, the Texas Tech Red Raiders. This is their season opener. They didn't play last week or the week before. Of course, we lost to Boise State. Last week, 31 to 13. And also today, I made sure the difficulty was uh, where it's supposed to be. It's Heisman difficulty. So uh, hopefully we can score some points at the very least. Will Howard's going to start off with a pass here. But it's not going to get anything really. Just one yard. He's looking to throw yet again. Going deep over the middle. What a catch by Walker there. Able to hold on to it through the big hit. First down and 10. Howard fires a strike to the left. He has pain there. He picks up some solid yardage just outside of the red zone. That's three straight completions now for Howard, but this one's not going to be completed as it gets tipped up into the air. Howard's looking to throw here and another incompletion there. An early third down now. Howard's looking to throw. Goes over to the right, tipped and nearly picked off. It's just going to fall incomplete. It's nice to see this defense hold Texas Tech to just a field goal here as the kick is up and good. Hopefully our offense can get something going here. Of course, they're one of the best teams in the country and whatnot. Obviously, we're not even ranked. You know, we're, we're a really small school compared to them there. That run goes nowhere. So third down and 14. Rovig is under pressure, and he's going to be sacked there, going backwards on pretty much every play. Fourth down and 24, and we're going to have to punt. Did not have a good day kicking last week. Uh, that was I could blame that on the wind and whatnot. Uh, today, though, just uh, that, that punt right there, not good. They're going to start off at the 30-yard line. Harris is running. He makes a move, breaks off a tackle, finally brought down inside of the 10-yard line. A big run there for him. He's going to run again, but this time he's not going very far. Howard throwing off his back foot. That doesn't matter, though, because his, he finds his wide receiver there on the slant route in the end zone for the touchdown a nice play there by texas tech and they extend their lead out to 10. gotta get something going on offense here afonso is gonna run but he's not gonna pick up anything there now we got troy anderson in the ball game he's gonna run to the left he's diving and picking up the first down there anderson is still in the ball game he's gonna take this one and he's not gonna pick up anything Rovig is back in at quarterback. He's rolling to his right. Just throwing this one up here. It's going to fall in complete. Looking for Logan Jones. But there were a lot of red jerseys around him. Looking to throw on third down. He lost the football. And Anderson recovers it for Texas Tech. There, they, they sent the pressure. They got the sack. They forced the ball out and recovered it. So once again, great field position for this offense. Howard going over to the left, incomplete there, Washington on the coverage. They're going to give it to Harris, who runs a man over, and he's going to take this one all the way to the house for another Red Raider touchdown. And we're only even at the end of the first quarter, and they're already up 17-0. to Some power running there, and then using his speed to get to the end zone. This offense is yet to do anything here other than turn the ball over and go three and out. Second down and 10. Rovick goes to the left trying to find Kevin Cassis. It's going to be knocked away. Third down again. Rovick looking to throw. Rolling to his right. Just throwing on the move there under a lot of pressure. And another incomplete pass. 
Fourth down and 10. Not great power. Not great accuracy there. It's only going to go to the 40-yard line. Payne's going to return it, and he gets it out to about the 36. Once again, a short field for Texas Tech. Going over to the right. This one's going to be broken up by Gibson, though. A good play there. Second down, Howard looking to throw yet again. He's got all day in the pocket, goes over to the right, and once again broken up. So an early third down on this drive. Howard's looking to throw yet again. He's stepping up into this one. He's got a man in the end zone. It's Harris for the touchdown. Found the hole in the zone there. 36-yard strike from Howard to his running back in the end zone for the touchdown. No pressure there, and a big throw there. Troy Anderson in the ball game once again for MSU. He's going to scramble and picks up seven yards. He's still in the game. He's going to take it on the quarterback draw, but he's not going to pick up anything. Third down and three going over to the left, but it's going to be knocked away by the linebacker, and we go three and out yet again. Texas Tech, they're at midfield here, and it's going to be picked off. It was tipped up into the air. Braden Conkle gets the interception, and we're going to be able to set up shop at midfield there. A fantastic play by Conkle. Uh, being able to just grab this one off the tip, a little bit of a dangerous throw, and it results in a turnover. Hopefully we can finally do something on offense now. Anderson is still in the ball game here at quarterback. He's going to take it on the run, but he's not going to pick up anything there. He's going to once again try to take it on the run, and he's going to go backwards. Anderson is still in the game. A high snap for him, and he's going down, sacked on that play. The rush got there too quickly, and despite the good field position, we go three and out. Out to punt yet again. That accuracy way off. He can't kick this one just right off the side of his foot. It doesn't even go past the first down marker. And Texas Tech basically has better field position now after the turnover. A good run there. Picks up a quick first down. Down to the 34-yard line here. Howard's looking to throw in the play action. Going over to the right. He has more, and that picks up five yards. Second down and five. Howard's dropping back to pass. Once again, all day. A little bit of pressure got to him there. And a great catch there by Moore in traffic. Down to the nine-yard line. First down and goal now. Jackson gets it on the carry, and he picks up another Red Raider touchdown. We gave up 31 points in all of last week's game. We just entered the second quarter, and we've already given up 31. Come on, offense. we got to do something. Rovick is back in the game at quarterback, handing off, and it's not going anywhere. Anderson now pitching it out to Isaiah Afonze, who's not going to go anywhere there. Third down and 12. Anderson's looking to throw. Stepping up into this one. And finally, we get a completion. Our first completion of the day. Only our second first down. Uh, it's a nice to get a little connection over the middle there. Now a direct snap to Afonso. And we pick up nine yards there. That's nice to see. Still negative nine rushing yards on the day, though. Anderson going over the middle. Nice connection there to Lance McCutcheon. And we got a little bit of a rhythm going now, maybe. Anderson, he's going to take this one, but he's not going to pick up anything there. Rovig back in the game, looking to throw. Stepping up, going over to the left, tipped and intercepted by Starks there. So, uh, yeah, we, we felt like maybe we had something on offense, but then we uh, turn the ball over once again. Will Howard goes over to the left. Payne has the reception that picks up three. Out to the 50-yard line. Now Howard going over to the left, incomplete there. Third down and seven. Can this defense get a stop? Howard moving around in the pocket. Taking a deep shot to the end zone. Picked off Braden Conkle. His second interception on the game. The lone bright spot of this first half so far there. Uh, his two interceptions here. This one just, he threw it in the double man coverage. Nice to get a takeaway there. Ifonze trying to run, but he's not going anywhere. Trying to maybe get a two minute drill going here. Rovic hands it off to Afonso, who once again does not go anywhere, and Texas Tech burns a timeout. Can we pick up a first down here? Going over to the right. Well played there, defending Travis Johnson, who missed all of last week's game due to a suspension. Uh, today he's getting his first action, but not really seeing much of it. Now, uh, finally, a fine punt there. I'm not going to say it was necessarily a good punt, but it was better than the other ones, and they actually get a good return on this one. So, uh... 
doesn't matter what we do when it comes to punting because they're going to end up getting great field position and they keep scoring touchdowns. Woods comes up with that big time reception there. He did get hurt bringing that one down. So now at halftime, 38 to 0, Texas Tech with the lead. There goes Logan Jones on the carry. He doesn't pick up anything. Running again. Hey, there he might have picked up a yard or two. Third down and seven. Anderson at quarterback. Rolling to his right. And he's going to throw on the move there. Thought about maybe running it under some pressure. And once again, we're going to have to punt. Play action pass here for Will Howard. Going over to the left. That one's going to be broken up there. This defense has been uh, breaking up some passes at the very least, so that's nice. Harris with the reception here out to the 40-yard line in the Bobcat territory. Only a 50% completion percentage for Will Howard. Three touchdowns, but two interceptions. Going over the middle there, and that one a near pick there. we got to come down with those whenever we can, especially when against a uh, team like Texas Tech. Another overthrow there from Howard leads to third down and 10. He's looking to throw, moving around in the pocket, taking a deep shot to the end zone, broken up there. And believe it or not, we, we forced them to punt. Anderson is back at quarterback again here. Afonze running, but he's going to lose three yards. Troy Anderson moving to his left, throwing to the left there, looking for Lance McCutcheon, but it's going to fall incomplete. Third down and 13. Got some time here going underneath. Picked off by Carroll. And he takes it back all the way to the crib for a, the touchdown. A pick six there for Texas Tech. Extends their lead out to 45. Anderson didn't really see the defender there. Trying to go underneath to Kevin Cassis. But instead throws a pick six. It's 45-0. to zero. Still trying to get a run game going. But once again, Afonso goes nowhere. Anderson rolling to his left, throwing on the move there, looking for McCutcheon. It's going to fall incomplete. Anderson's just 4 of 10 as he's seen a lot of the action at quarterback now. Over the middle, trying to find Coy Steele, but it's going to fall incomplete. Good field position again for Texas Tech. Going over to the left and another overthrow by Will Howard. He's going to hand this one off to Jackson. Nope, it's play action. He's got Harris over the middle and a quick first down there. Howard's looking to throw. He's got time going over the middle. Another just misfire there, just a slightly off the mark. Howard's looking to throw. He's going to the end zone here, and it's going to be tipped and incomplete. Third down and 10. Howard going to the end zone once again. Caught, but I believe that's going to be out of bounds. So now they're going to attempt a field goal. This run from 50 yards. The kick is up, and it is good. 48-0 now. Logan Jones runs up the gut there. He picks up two yards. Anderson still at quarterback. Rolling to his right. Just chucking this one up for Travis Johnson. Gets tipped up. And he comes down with it. Out to the 30-yard line. Finally, a big play on offense. Travis Johnson's first reception on the year. Gets tipped. He comes down with it. Unfortunately, he didn't have very much space. He's really fast, so if he gets an open space, he can really do well there. Uh, but unfortunately, they were able to catch him. That pass falls incomplete looking for Cassis. A high snap for Anderson. Rolling to his right. Throwing on the move there. Tipped and picked off by Anderson. I was trying to go to R1. I ended up pushing L1 there. That drive felt like we might have been able to get some points, but instead, another interception there. I had a man open to the right, threw across my body. It actually still went off the hands of McCutcheon, so a catchable pass, more or less, you know, into traffic, but still. Uh, he maybe could have come down with that one, but instead, it gets picked off, and it's just going to take them one play to get into the end zone. A poor play call on defense there. We came out in 3-4. Or 4-3, whatever. We came out trying to blitz them. Uh, but they take advantage of it there and get an 85-yard touchdown pass on offense here. Howard had his man wide open. And, uh, yeah, we didn't have a chance. We put a linebacker on the running back. Just a bad idea there. And Texas Tech leads by even more now. So third down and 10 for MSU as the first two plays go nowhere. Taking a deep shot for Johnson. Goes up, has that one in his hands, but can't hold on to it. So once again, punting. Once again, bad accuracy. And once again, going out of bounds very early on into the punt. Great field position now for Texas Tech. 
They got the backups in. Craig on second down finds his man over the middle there. It picks up about six yards. Third down and five. Craig is looking to pass. Going over to the right, he has Greer there, who picks up just enough for the first. Looking to throw here. Going over to the left, Walker has the reception and a quick 10 yards there out to the 10-yard line. Craig is looking to throw. Goes over to the right. He has Payne, and he has another Texas Tech touchdown. As the, they keep pouring it on here. Out to kick it off. They have a 62-0 lead. Ouch. Kicking it off. We've got Travis Johnson returning this one from the end zone. Tries to get some good blockers. Loses the football, and Texas Tech recovers it there. Man, another turnover. Third down and 20 now after a holding penalty and a couple plays that go nowhere. Craig going over to the left, broken up by Washington. A good play there, good deflection, but they are in field goal range. The kick is up, and it is good. So now kicking off yet again. Let's hold on to the football this time. That would be nice, but it looks like we're not even going to have to worry about that as this one sails out of bounds, so we're going to get the ball at the 35-yard line. Anderson is looking to run here. He picks up the first down there and moves the chains. Something that we have not done a lot of today. A quick throw now to Kevin Cassis. His first catch on the day picks up five yards. Third down and five at midfield. Anderson looking to throw. Should have gone to L1 there. I meant to go to L1. I'm not used to throwing to L1 and R1. Uh, instead, it's going to lead the fourth down and five. We're going to go for it. Why not? I don't want to get shut out. Getting hit as he lets it go, though. It's going to fall incomplete. So another drive that does absolutely nothing for us. Texas Tech at midfield. Craig is looking to throw. Floating this one out to the right. Rocker has the reception. He's across the 20. Finally gets brought down at the 15-yard line. First down and 10 and direct snap to Jackson, who takes this one here. Finally brought down at the two-yard line by Conkle. Second down and goal. They give it to Brown, and he picks up just enough for yet another Red Raider touchdown. Back on offense now. Johnson got hit. He's going to let it go. That's not Johnson. That's Anderson. Luckily, we're able to recover the fumble. Third down and a mile. Anderson taking a deep shot here. What a catch. Travis Johnson with the catch at midfield. Just said screw it. Chucked it up there. And he was able to actually come down with that one. That one's That's nice to see uh, Johnson being able, being able to jump up on these players and whatnot. I know they're the backups in, but still a great play nonetheless. Anderson is looking to throw. Throwing on the move. Picked off there. It was thrown into a crowd of players. Jones gets the Texas Tech pick. I don't even know how many field goals that is for him now. They're going to run it with Brown now. A nice run for him. He's across the 40. Getting pushed around. Finally brought down past the 30-yard line. Just a couple seconds left in the game now. Brown is running stiff arms a man. And finds himself in the end zone for another touchdown. 18 yards there. Trying to do whatever we can on offense. Stepping up here, throwing into a crowd of red jerseys. And it's going to be another pick six. Over 80 points now for Texas Tech. They finish with an, the final score of 86-0. to zero. Man, I knew going into this game, we weren't going to win unless something crazy happened. But I, I didn't think we'd lose 86-0. to zero. Couldn't do anything on offense at all there. Uh, Tucker Rovick only saw action in the first half. He went 0 of 5. He's still our quarterback going into the future and whatnot, but I thought Troy Anderson gave us a better chance at winning the game with his scrambling ability and whatnot. We could not get any run game going at all, though. Travis Johnson, two receptions for 91 yards, one of the lone bright spots of today's game. Uh, brought, he gave up two sacks on the game. This defense... Uh, they didn't play great, although Conkle did have the two interceptions. Uh, but they were in pretty bad situations throughout most of the game. That's going to wrap up this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a moist rest of your day. And until next time, this has been Jeffrey. Goodbye.